Welcome back to this video. Just doing some minor plastic deformation repair. A little wavy down the surface, you can see it. We'll straighten all that out. All right, and that's the main part of the damage. We also look at, like I said, the whole thing's real wavy, right? And you can't just look where the damage is. You have to take a step back a lot of times and try to find where it could have potentially gotten damaged elsewhere. Right? Getting hit here, going that way, right? Maybe up here, this could get sandwiched and buckle up. If you actually look down the line there, over down on the other side, down yonder, I said yonder. I look right there. I don't know if anybody can see it or not. It's kind of hard, but, but there is a crease right, right across here. So from this over here, all this area and through here, when this got hit, it must have caused this to buckle up. It didn't give and it just caused the plastic to deform. So. That's one thing I always think about. Not just the area of damage, but look around. Look for any other causes, you know? Maybe a lot of times there's bolts, like up in here, if you look up in here, there's like a little bolt hole, right? If that got hit hard enough and this popped out of there, that could have ripped that out, and if you're not paying attention, you'll miss it, so. Uh, all this stuff that we fix on here is actual repair time that we can get for it. All right, just discuss it with your advisor or whoever's handling the job take it the time before you start talk doing it and uh, see if they want you to fix it or not or if they're even going to say it's part of the accident or not but if it's in the close vicinity of it there's a good chance it's part of it so look around look for that extra damage it's time